Howdy there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part four of Snowboard Kids. So, in the last part, we unlocked the Copper Pass, which gives us access to Quicksand Valley, which is far and away the hardest fucking race in the game, but we'll get to that. I actually had to replay through the whole game because I had to stop because I had to rage quit fucking Quicksand Valley. It's far and away the hardest, and so I remembered then that the, the freestyle boards are so much better. Well, look at this. Look how much better the turning is. It's crazy, is it not? It, it, they just, they're, they're just as fast, it feels, as the all-around boards, and the handling is so fucking good. <laughs> and once again, Quicksand Valley, phenomenal fucking song. But no, this is the hardest race in this fucking game. It took me, it must have been... God, 20, 25 tries. I'm not exaggerating. I cut out so many fucking tries because it's a racing game. I'm not going to show me fucking up a race. But anyway, you guys want to do your best to pretty much take the exact same path that I do if you want to stand a chance at winning. This race is really fucking hard. Everybody, except for pretty much Nancy, fucking knows exactly where the hell to go. Fucking Slash! <laughs> they also are relentless with their fucking weapons. <laughs> and once again, you want to be doing tricks off of jumps because they let you go further and go faster. They help give you momentum. I know it's hard to tell, but it really does. This right here is the worst part. Again, for sharp turns, you have to do taps. Otherwise, you're going to slide right off because the quicksand is actually pushing you. And yeah, it's really tough. Sorry, I'll stop. No, none of the other racers take this right turn, though, and that's, like, the best shortcut ever in this course because it's so much better than the other way. For the most part, aside from that turn that I took just a bit ago, you want to follow Jam. Jam seems to know the best route to take, I find. Ah, damn it! I almost made it around Slash right there, but he blocked my way, and then I couldn't get... Because it was flat, I couldn't get the momentum to pass him. Fucking Slash. This actually raises the question, how the fuck did these kids get to the fucking desert? What the hell are they doing here? What, did they go to fucking Arizona or something? Actually, fun trivia, uh, I was actually born in Arizona. I live in Cornell. I lived in Albuquerque for like nine years. Well, hell, it was longer than that. But anyway, I was born in Arizona. Tucson, Arizona, in fact. So now you know. You know, uh, like I said, I actually, it took me like 20 tries to finish, to like win this race and get first place. Because it's so fucking tough. But not one of those races did Nancy beat me. Nancy's not a very good racer in this course, so there is that. What if you're playing as Jam or Slash? I'm sure you're wondering. Well, then obviously you'll, you'll be them in this race and someone else will be here. And then I'm sure that other character will have the pathways memorized. Or maybe they won't. Who knows? I just know that Jam seems to be the go-to guy for this one. Oh, in case you're wondering, doing grabs does not give you the same kind of trick momentum that doing actual tricks do. And so, even though I did a grab right there, it didn't really make me go forward or faster or anything like a jump does, like a trick does. So, now you know. Oh, fucking hand. I don't think I described what the... Oh wait, no, I did. I definitely described what the fan power-up does. It's the same thing as the mushroom in Mario Kart. Oh, fucking Slash, he did it again! Oh, damn it, Nancy. Oh, fucking jam. <laughs> you can get so, che so fucked over at the checkpoint. <laughs> but it's the final lap. This is not a very long race, but it is such an intense one. You have no idea how relieved I was when I finally managed to get through it. The bombs, again, are fucking terrible. 
Their homing isn't that good, and when it does home in, if you're anywhere near where the bomb explodes, it will cause you to get hurt as well. That's a terrible fucking weapon. There's also a really sharp turn amongst this wavy area that I'm going through now. It's right there. So I'd recommend holding off on using the fan until after that turn. Drop rocks wherever you can. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Ah. God damn, they're so relentless with the saucer pan. Fucking wall. They're so relentless with the saucer pans. <laughs> and it's just, it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. There's actually a sign coming up that I haven't commented on yet, uh, so I'll, I'll wait until that. It's actually right here. There's a sign right there that says, Drink this way! And then you come over here and it says, Hot drink! <laughs> Just what you want in the fucking desert, right? A hot drink, like hot chocolate. <laughs> I always got a kick out of that. I'm like, <laughs> that's fucking mean. <laughs> Uh, these snowboard kids. Alright, we're in the final, like, length of the fucking quicksand valley. All we have to do is get past the oasis. We can't let jam pass- Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! I'm in second, the saucer knocked me down. Fuck, 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 Huzzah, I made it! Huzzah! Of course, indeed. So yeah, that was Quicksand Valley. Far and away the hardest race in this fucking game. It's so strange that it is the first race you unlock, too. By getting first in all the races and Quicksand Valley, we obtained the Silver Pass. Which will unlock yet another course, so we shall see that in this video here in just a few seconds, in fact. We unlocked Silver Mountain. This is actually really fucking easy in comparison to Quicksand Valley. It's crazy. It is harder than Dizzyland, but it's still pretty easy. Once again, freestyle board. Best in the game. Silver Mountain might be a little intimidating because it's super foggy. Oh, but it has such a glorious song. This is like my second favorite song in the game after Dizzyland. Although I love every track in this game. <laughs> this one is a little bit douchebaggish in that there are a lot of jumps that, because you can't see, you can't tell ahead of time unless you've played the game, like the course already, that you have to jump for, like that one. You can't do a trick because it's too low, but you have to jump, otherwise you fall into the gap. Ah, uh, there's actually another one coming up that's douchebaggish as well. Oh, there's some big footprints. Just, just saying. Holy fucking abominable snowman! It's fucking Sasquatch. It's Bigfoot. That one right here that I just did. You don't want to do a trick because you'll always hit the wall. Even the computer always hits the fucking wall <laughs> when they do a trick off of that jump. It's better to jump normal and then position yourself knowing that turn is there. God damn, the music is so fucking good! So this course is pretty long, just like Big Snowman, Quicksand Valley. In fact, it's quite long. However, though, it is not nearly as intense as so many of the other races. It's really easy. Although I will say this, Nancy and it seems like Tommy are the two you gotta watch out for in this race. I don't think I've ever been beaten by Slash in this race. It's always seen, It always seems to be Nancy or Tommy occasionally who kick my ass. That being said, I did this in one go, so that, that should tell you. <laughs> It's really easy to catch back up to the other racers in this one. It's not like Quicksand Valley. In Quicksand Valley, if you fall behind, you're pretty much going to stay behind. If you, can't find, if you can't find a way to catch up, you're going to be stuck back there and you're going to lose the race. 
I had to rage quit on Quicksand Valley, which since I cannot save in Snowboard Kids 1, I had to replay the first six races. Which it was then that I real that I remembered. Oh wait, the fucking freestyle board is the best in the game. <laughs> the worst is still the Alpine board. You never need that kind of speed. But yeah. And the all-around board is only good for one race, in my opinion, but, you know. You have to jump right there, I already said that, but you have to jump. Also, where the fuck is Mount Silver? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, it's Mount Silver! Holy shit! <laughs> I just realized. Fuck, Crystal and Red are fucking having a Pokemon battle somewhere on here. <laughs> right there, though, see, you want to jump and then position yourself in the air. Because that turn is ridiculously sharp to make. A lot of the jumps, you don't want to do complicated tricks like, um... Actually, I haven't mentioned yet. When you hold down right, like, down right, down left, up right, or up left, when you do a trick, you do this, like, it's a combination of a 360 and a flip, but it goes a lot longer than the flips and even longer than the fucking, um... Uh, than the 360 and whatnot. And so you want to be careful. You want to be careful because not very many of the jumps in this course you're going to want to do those with. Hopefully you're following what I'm saying. I know I'm doing a terrible job explaining it, but if you play the game, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. At least hopefully. If not, well then fuck you. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm kidding, of course. It just It's something that's hard to explain. And yeah, I uh, <laughs> just realized I'm not talking. I really love the song here. <laughs> Plus, I'm so out of shit to say it's a racing game. So, I mentioned previously that this game has not been re-released or anything. In fact, I actually think Atlas has either gone under or else it's going under. I don't think Atlas is going to be around anymore. It's really a shame. Um, I really love the Snowboard Kids games. At least one and two. There is actually, or at least technically, a Snowboard Kids 3 on the Nintendo DS, I believe. It's only in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's somewhere else, I don't know. It's not in the U.S., I know that. <laughs> but it's nothing like these ones, from what I've seen. It, it, they got rid of the whole... The characters have this really goofy design, which actually, I haven't commented on that either. The way the characters are designed remind me of The Legend of Mystical Ninja, starring Gohan. Like, Ubisumaru, I'm probably mispronouncing his name. I haven't played that game in ages. But a lot of the characters have these, like, big round noses or these long pointy ones. They just, they look like they could be from that game. And I, I love it. It has so much personality. If you have stuck with me through this whole entire playthrough, uh, hopefully it's been entertaining for you. Hopefully you're enjoying the, the video and the game and whatnot. <laughs> but if you find this... Snowboard Kids 1 to be rather unentertaining. I will say this, Snowboard Kids 2 has so much more going for it. Um, so much more personality. There are actually cutscenes and whatnot, and it's really great, and I can't wait for that game, but it won't be for quite a while. We're on the final lap, in fact, we're right near the end of it. Nancy's ahead of us, but I had a parachute, so I think it's pretty safe to say who won. And it wasn't even that close of a race. I won by quite a bit. So yeah, that was Silver Mountain, my second favorite race in the game. A lot more mellow than Quicksand Valley. It's pretty fucking easy. Um, yeah. By, de or by beating Silver Mountain and getting first place, we unlock the Gold Pass. This unlocks the final race in the game. But for some unfathomable reason, when you beat Silver Mountain and get first... The credits roll. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you the credits in this part, because we still have one more race to go. So stay tuned for part five, the finale of Snowboard Kids. I'll see you guys then.